Now there are over 10 businesses in GTA 5 Online and you guys are probably wondering what is the best business to make the most money in GTA 5 Online? Well that's what we're going to be going over in today's video. We're actually going to be going over all 5 of the best businesses that you guys could be buying in GTA 5 Online and also taking advantage of to make yourself millions of dollars in GTA 5 Online. So if you guys do want to enjoy today's video, of course make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a future GTA GTA 5 video from me, but without further ado, let's get into this top 5 best businesses list. Alright, so the way that this top 5 is going to go is we're going to start from the best and work our way down to the worst, but keep in mind all 5 of these are great businesses to make lots of money with. But coming in first spot, we're going to have the CEO office, more in particular the special cargo warehouse. Now if you guys do not know what the special cargo warehouse is, I'm going to show you guys here in a second. First of all, you do need to own a CEO office, and once you guys do have one, you now want to enter inside of it. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already own a CEO office and if you guys are wondering it doesn't even matter which one you own you can own the cheapest one like I do in my opinion I think the cheapest CEO office is probably the best location anyway once you guys do enter your CEO office you're now going to want to make your way to this desktop sign in and then click right here where it says login now you're going to want to click right here where it says special cargo and this is going to be honestly the best business in GTA 5 online you guys can see I've made over 63 million dollars to date just doing this business alone now if you are somebody who does own a CEO office but doesn't own a special cargo warehouse all you need to do is click right here where it says warehouse map and then click the option right here where it says all now you guys will see there should be a whole bunch of different options for you guys to buy a special cargo warehouse and you guys can pick whichever one you guys want to i think the cheapest one you guys can buy is like maybe 200 300 dollars but that's going to be one of these small ones it's pretty good though because you can still get started in the business anyway once you guys do own a few warehouses or even just one warehouse what you need to do is go ahead and click right here on your warehouse map once again and then click whatever warehouse that you guys own you can see this is just an example I click this one once you guys click any of the warehouses that you guys own or the one that you guys own you'll see there are three different options right here at this bottom left hand of your screen there is one crate two crates and then three crates of course the best option is gonna be the three crate option because why spend two thousand dollars per crate when you guys can get just three crates at once for eighteen thousand dollars it just fills up your warehouse way faster this way so when it comes to actually making money with the special cargo warehouse literally all you need to do is keep sourcing these three crates right here the cost $18,000 so the only downside to this business is that you do have to keep paying $18,000 for three crates but the good news is that $18,000 is more like an investment and you're going to be making way more money when you sell those three crates. Now you do have to do all these resupply missions completely by yourself unless you do have friends who are helping you but the good thing about these resupply missions is usually they are very simple and easy to do. You guys can see for this resupply mission that I'm doing right now I'm sourcing three crates but I actually only got one vehicle that counts for all three crates which usually happens maybe around 70% of the time and it's super super handy when this does happen because that way you only have to deliver one vehicle that counts for three crates instead of just delivering three individual crates which does happen sometimes sometimes you will get a resupply mission where you're gonna have to individually deliver three different crates go back and forth which can be annoying but like I said around 70% of the time you guys will get resupply missions like this where it's just one vehicle that counts for three crates and just like that I just finished delivering the supplies over to my special cargo warehouse now of course you you're going to have to be doing a whole bunch of those resupply missions for a few hours if you want to get your warehouse completely full just like mine. But if you want to make the process a little bit faster, there's somebody that can actually help you. And that person's going to be located inside your actual special cargo warehouse. As you guys can see, the person is right here for me. Now, if you guys actually go up to this person, you can click right D-pad and you can pay them $7,500 to go and actually source you special cargo crates. All right, now let's get to the part that you guys were all waiting for. How much money can you guys actually earn when it comes to the special cargo business now like the title said this is updated 2022 if you guys do not know with the new recent version of GTA 5 of course the next gen version of GTA they actually buff the amount of money that you guys can get in these special cargo warehouses and if you guys do not know what I'm talking about I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that is right now now before GTA 5 next gen actually came out you guys would have said that a large warehouse completely full sells for right around 2.2 million dollars in fact if you guys actually go on Google right now and type in how much does a large special cargo warehouse sell for it's gonna tell you 2.2 million dollars and I was about to tell you guys that as well until I actually check for myself now you guys can see my large warehouse is not completely full but it's almost full and let's see how much this almost full large warehouse sells for you guys can see I have 76 crates in here right now and these 76 crates sell for 2.8 million dollars keep in mind I'm missing over 30 crates it's not even completely full take a look 76 out of 111 so it's not all the way full and this not all 
the way full warehouse is selling for 2.8 million dollars now i wouldn't even be surprised if this completely full sells for right around 3.5 million dollars so that's probably the new amount of money that you guys will get for a large special cargo warehouse in gta 5 online anywhere from 3.3 to 3.5 million dollars is what i'm gonna be saying is what a full large special cargo warehouse sells for and i know it does take lots of time to fill up a large warehouse but keep in mind when you do fill it up you're gonna be making anywhere from 3.3 to 3.5 million dollars in profit when it comes to doing that business now that isn't the only best business in gta 5 let's actually now talk about the second best business that you guys could be taking advantage of all right so getting into the second best business that you guys can own in gta 5 i'm gonna have to give it straight to the auto shop now if you guys hate doing resupply missions this is definitely gonna be a business for you now of course you're first gonna have to own a auto shop and once you guys do own an auto shop you're gonna want to enter inside of it just like i'm doing here so once you guys have entered inside of your auto shop you guys are going to want to make your way upstairs to this contract board right here now this is going to be the main part of the business that's going to make you guys the most money you guys can see these are a whole bunch of different contracts that you guys can choose from and you can see they pay anywhere from one hundred eighty thousand dollars to one hundred eighty five thousand dollars up to even three hundred thousand dollars keep in mind this is just regular price this isn't double money or triple money or anything and this is a pretty decent amount of money as well and these take not that long to set up as well so i'm just going to start up any one of these random ones just to show you guys how simple and easy these are you can see right here i'm going to do the super dollar deal it's going to pay me one hundred eighty five thousand dollars now it doesn't cost any money to complete but all you need to do is two simple setups which i'm going to just go ahead and do right now now for the most part the setup missions or the two setup missions that you guys have to do for the auto shop contracts are usually super easy to do you guys can see for this one all i have to do is go over to fort zancudo now once i actually got to fort zancudo all i had to do is take a picture of the moc which is what i just did right now and you guys can see there are a whole bunch of military people after me which made it a little bit harder but it was still super simple to do after i took a picture of it though literally all i had to do was plant a little charge right here once i planted the charge there that's literally it now i had to just make my way away from fort zancudo and that was it i finished the first mission and after completing that first setup you just need to do one more setup and after that second setup you now can do the finale heist which is going to get you paid that one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars, or however much it said the contract is going to pay you it's usually a pretty good amount of money anyway yeah that's going to be the second best business to own in gta 5 now let's get into the third best Best business that you guys can own as well all right so now getting into the third best business that you guys can own once again you're gonna have to own the ceo office in order to even buy the business once you guys do own your ceo office you're now gonna want to enter inside of it once you guys have entered inside of your ceo office you're now gonna want to make your way over here to your desk and now go ahead and sit down at your desk once you guys have sat down at your desk you're now gonna want to log in and don't worry we're not gonna go to special cargo like we did before we're actually gonna go to this section right here in the middle it's called vehicle cargo and this is gonna be the third best business that you guys can actually own in gta 5 now you guys can see i've earned over 12.8 million dollars doing this business which is pretty good considering the fact that i only spent like a million dollars on my warehouse now of course if you guys do not own a warehouse already a vehicle cargo warehouse you're going to want to click right here where it says warehouse map and then click right here where it says all as you guys can see these are going to be all of the different vehicle warehouses that you guys can purchase if you guys want to do this business for yourself you guys can see the cheapest one you guys can buy is going to be right around uh, right here at the very bottom of the map it's 1.9 million dollars which is a little bit expensive but trust me you're gonna make this money back in no time anyway once you guys do own any one of those special vehicle warehouses you're not gonna want to click right here where it says warehouse map once again and then go to the warehouse that you guys own and click right here where it says source vehicle once you guys click source vehicle go ahead and click confirm and now you're just gonna want to do the source vehicle mission if you guys have never done this mission before let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what these missions are about now if you guys have never done any one of these special vehicle warehouse missions they are super simple basically you just do a mission to go get a car and deliver the car all the way back to your warehouse you can see the mission that i'm doing right here basically what i have to do is race over to this location and if i make it there in time i actually get the car and i can just drive it back over to my warehouse which i'm gonna beat it in no time because take a look at what i'm doing the race in i'm doing it in an oppressor mark too this is literally completely unfair i'm gonna beat it by like a minute anyway yeah once you guys do get to that vehicle you're just gonna want to get in it and drive it over to your special vehicle warehouse but let me let you guys know about a few things that you guys should keep in mind while delivering the vehicle so when you guys are actually doing these special vehicle warehouse missions and you guys are actually delivering the car to your warehouse you're going to want to keep in mind that there is going to be a repair cost that comes with the vehicle if you do end up crashing it just like i'm doing right here i'm literally a complete horrible example of what you guys shouldn't do while doing these special vehicle missions you do not want to crash it or get it shot up a whole bunch like i do because if you guys do end up crashing it a lot you guys are going to have to pay the repair cost that it shows at the bottom right hand of your screen you guys can see i'm going to have to pay 12 thousand dollars in repair costs but honestly that's not even too bad considering that this is a legendary car and whatever car you guys get if you guys deliver it to your special 
Central Cargo Warehouse and still pay that repair cost, you're most likely going to be making that money back and even more when you guys end up selling it, which I'll show you guys here in a second how much money you get when you do sell these vehicles. So yeah, let me just go ahead and skip forward and I'll show you guys exactly how much these vehicles sell for once you guys do deliver them to your warehouse. So after you guys have racked up a bunch of vehicles inside of your special vehicle warehouse, what you guys next need to do is come over here to your staff only room and then come over here to where this laptop is right here. Now you're just going to want to go ahead and sit down at your laptop. Once you guys have sat down at your laptop, now go ahead and click right here where it says A to access the laptop. And once you guys have logged in, you guys will see you have a whole bunch of different cars. If you guys have done a whole bunch of the special vehicle cargo warehouse missions, you guys can see they are different ranges as well. They are mid range, standard range, and also top range. I'm pretty sure you guys can already assume which one's going to sell for the most. Of course, it's going to be the top range. Now you guys can sell up to four vehicles at once, but if you guys want to sell four vehicles, you will need three other friends, including yourself to sell four vehicles. Let's say you only have two friends. You guys can sell two vehicles. If you have three friends, you can sell three vehicles. But if you're doing a solo like myself, you can only sell one at a time. But that's not that bad because you actually do get a pretty decent amount of money for selling just one. You guys can see we're going to sell one of these top range vehicles right now. So whenever you're ready, just click any one of the top range vehicles. Click right here where it says export and then click the bottom option right here where it says specialist dealer. This is going to give you guys the most money. Now go ahead and click confirm right here. And now all you need to do is basically customize the vehicle however you guys want to and then just go ahead and deliver it to the location and then you guys get your money and let me show you guys exactly how much money you get once you deliver the vehicle all right so right now i'm about to deliver the vehicle of course i did damage the vehicle a lot you're probably not going to damage it as much as me trust me you don't even want to know what happened but here's how much money i got you can see a total of eighty-three thousand dollars for just around three to five minutes of delivering a vehicle if you guys ask me this is definitely going to be one of the best businesses to make lots of money in gta 5 online but if i'm gonna be honest if you guys are going to sell the vehicles you're going to want to do it with a total of three friends because if you're selling four at once you're going to be making four hundred thousand dollars at once instead of eighty thousand dollars just like i did right there but yeah this is definitely going to be one of the best businesses to own now let's go ahead and get into the fourth best business that you guys can own in gta 5. all right so for the fourth best business that you guys can own in gta 5 i'm gonna have to give it straight to the bunker now the cheapest bunker you guys can buy is going to be in palito bay i think it's like right around a million dollars which is pretty cheap to get in this business game but once you guys do own a bunker you're now going to want to enter inside of it and let me show you guys how you can actually make money with a bunker because there are a few different ways now right now you guys can see inside of my bunker i only have five thousand dollars worth of stock and i have zero supplies so my bunker is not looking good at all but if you guys were to fill up your bunker completely full and go ahead and sell it you guys can make anywhere from 1.1 to 1.5 million dollars with the new updated sell price for the bunker on the next gen version of gta 5 which is pretty cool you guys can make way more than you used to i think before a full bunker sold for like 700 or 800 thousand dollars so they did definitely buff it but if you guys are like me and you guys don't have supplies or stock on your bunker what you need to do is come over here to this laptop right here and go ahead and click right d-pad to enter inside of your laptop once you got your laptop now click a to enter inside of the website and go ahead and click enter now right here you guys can see this is the total amount of money that you've earned from the bunker for sell missions you guys can see i've earned over 7.5 million dollars for selling stock with the bunker which is pretty cool now if you guys want to actually resupply and get more supplies to make your stock go up you guys can go right here to where it says resupply and you guys can either steal supplies for free or you guys can pay $75,000 to fill it up completely full and you guys won't have to do anything except wait for the supplies to arrive. Now if you guys want to make a lot of money I recommend coming down right here to where it says manage staff and set it to assign staff to manufacturing. That's going to make sure that it only makes your stock level go up and not your research. It's just going to basically make the stock go up and that's going to make you get more money at the end of the day because it's not going to be wasting time on the research. And yeah just like any resupply business you will have to do a whole bunch of those resupply missions until you guys get your stock all the way up and once your stock is all the way up like i said it's gonna sell for right around 1.1 to 1.5 million dollars but you guys can also make more money in your bunker with these random vehicles that spawn inside of your bunker you guys can see i think it's called the dune i don't even know what this truck is called but basically this random truck with weapons is gonna spawn inside of your bunker every 15 or 20 minutes every time it spawns in though you guys can actually come up to it and click right d-pad if you guys click right d-pad you guys will get inside the vehicle and now you guys will be delivered delivering it for a sell mission that can get you guys a bonus amount of money. You guys can see this is literally how simple it was. I just got in the vehicle, delivered it over to this location, and now I just get my payment, which I don't actually know how much it's going to be. This is like one of my first times doing these missions. So let's see how much it pays. We're both going to see right now. $50,000, not going to lie. That actually isn't that bad. $50,000 is almost the price of a full set of supplies in the bunker. So if you guys were to do two of these, that's basically covering the cost of a full supply that you guys can buy inside of your bunker and then just wait for your supplies to go up of course you guys are going to make the most money doing the supplies inside the
the bunker. But yeah, that's going to be the fourth best business to own. Now let's go ahead and go into the fifth best business to own in GTA 5. So getting into the fifth best business to own in GTA 5, that's going to have to go to the Coke lockup. Now, if you guys do not know what the Coke lockup is, it's actually one of the businesses that you guys can buy in your motorcycle club. So you will need to own, of course, a motorcycle club in order to even buy this Coke lockup. But once you guys do buy this lockup, you guys can make a lot of money and revenue with this business. Of course, first thing you're going to want to do is enter inside of it. Once you are inside of it, like me, you guys are probably not going to have any supplies or product like me. So what you guys need to do is come over here to your laptop. And once you guys come to your laptop, all you need to do is go ahead and click right on the D-pad to actually click onto the uh, laptop right here. And once you guys are on the laptop now, just log in. And all you have to do is do the setup mission right here, which is completely free. Just go ahead and do this mission. So after you complete that first setup, you guys now should have a full set of supplies inside of your Coke lockup. And now all you have to do is basically just wait for your product to go all the way up. Now make sure in order for it to go all the way up that you actually are on GTA 5. It doesn't even matter what you're doing. You just need to be on GTA 5 in order for your product to actually go up. Now you guys know before a full Coke lockup used to sell for anywhere from $500,000 to $600,000. But now with the new buffed price with the GTA 5 next gen, you guys are going to be making anywhere from $800,000 to a million dollars with a full Coke lockup. So you guys can definitely tell that they buff the amount of money that you get for this business. And that's why it's going to be the fifth best business to own in GTA 5. But yeah, that is now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did want to enjoy. Now you guys know the top five best businesses to own in GTA 5 to make yourself lots of money in game. If you guys didn't already, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you guys are watching till this point and you're not already subscribed make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on a future gta 5 video from me but that's gonna be it for me and i will see you guys in my next video peace